This year's Ryder Cup left many people in disbelief. While the European team celebrated their dominant victory, questions swirled around Team USA's unexpected performance. Players appearing out of form to locker room dynamics that hinted at deeper issues, the tournament was rife with moments that left fans and experts scratching their heads. Was it the rust from a prolonged hiatus, or perhaps the captain's pick that didn't quite deliver? Today on Good Bogey Golf, we dive deep into the factors and controversies that shape Team USA's journey in this year's Ryder Cup. Join us as we dissect the events, decisions, and dynamics that led to one of the most talked about tournaments in recent history. So without further ado, let's get started. The world of golf is no stranger to the importance of momentum and form. Coming into the Ryder Cup, Team USA's decision to take a five-week hiatus after the PGA Tour Championship raised many eyebrows. While rest and recovery are vital, the timing of this break was questionable at best. So much so, it became a focal point of many debates. The first day of the tournament was a clear indication of things not going as planned. An 0-4 start in the foursome was a jolt, with many attributing this to the players being out of touch. The rhythm of the game, the feels of the green, and the pressure of the event all seem to weigh heavily on the Americans. Five weeks away from professional play can take a toll, and it seemed it did right from the start. But was it just the rust, or was there more to it? Some insiders hinted at the players feeling the pressure of past performances, while others believed it was the sheer brilliance of the European side that day. Whatever the reason, the lack of competitive play in the weeks leading up to the Ryder Cup was evident in Team USA's initial performance. Only as the tournament progressed did glimpses of the team's true potential begin to shine through. So did the extended break do more harm than good? It definitely looked like it did. Even the pros deal with rust, especially if the breaks are that long. In our view, this break was a gamble that didn't quite pay off for Team USA, and it showed on the first day. But the Ryder Cup is a marathon, not a sprint. So even with a rough start, there was always a chance for Team USA to turn things around on the second day. Fortunately, at Marco Simone, this proved to be a significant challenge. The team's struggles continued even after the first day, with the Europeans taking an early lead and setting the tone for the rest of the tournament. What made things worse is that Team USA also struggled with finishing their rounds on a high note, often conceding crucial points in the closing stages. These endings can really drop the team's morale and leave the team feeling hopeless the next day. And when the pressure rises, the spotlight on the top players gets magnified. This pressure didn't help, as several top players on Team USA underperformed. Scheffler, Spieth, and Colin Morikawa, who have six major championships between them, only managed to win one match. In particular, Scheffler faced a monumental defeat when he and Brooks Kepka were outplayed by Victor Hovland and Ludwig Oberg. The final score of 9-7 put a sour taste in the world's top-ranked player as he was overshadowed by a player who was still in college just a few months prior. While Scheffler's driving and chipping remained decent, his putting was his Achilles heel. In addition, another veteran, Jordan Spieth, struggled with his shots the entire event and had a disappointing final score of 0-2-2. These players, often seen as the pillars of their respective teams, were expected to lead from the front. However, for Team USA, this expectation turned into a burden. The underperformance of their superstars was glaring, with many failing to deliver when it mattered the most. In contrast, Europe's top players rose to the occasion, showcasing their class and experience on the grand stage. This further carried over into the locker room and created dynamics that were far from favorable. Behind the glitz and the glamour of the Ryder Cup, the locker room is where strategies are formed, spirits are lifted, and sometimes where tensions brew. For Team USA, the 2023 Ryder Cup locker room seemed to be a cauldron of emotions and challenges. Captain Zach Johnson, a respected figure in the golfing world, faced scrutiny for some of his decisions. From his pairings to how he managed the team's morale, every move was under the microscope. Instead of rallying his troops, he was said to have made a bunch of excuses for his team's poor performance. This is not what you want from a leader, and it clearly did not work. He only helped magnify the tension of the losses in the locker room. On the other hand, Europe's captain, Luke Donald, seemed to have the Midas touch, 
rallying his troops and keeping spirits sky high. This is not to say there weren't moments where Team USA's camaraderie shone brightly, but there were far and few between. They made a rally towards the end of the tournament, but by then, it was far too late to make a comeback feasible. While each player's skill is undeniable, unity, trust, and mutual respect often tilt the scales. The balance between individual brilliance and team cohesion seemed challenging for Team USA to attain. And this brings us to another topic many believe was part of Team USA's downfall, the captain's pick. The Ryder Cup is a chess match where every move, every decision, and every player counts. For Team USA in 2023, the captain's picks became a significant talking point, both leading up to and following the event. Zach Johnson, the man at the helm for Team USA, made choices that many believed would bolster the team's chances. However, as the tournament unfolded, these selections came under intense scrutiny. The pairing of Justin Thomas and Jordan Spieth, historically a dynamic duo, lacked their usual spark. Spieth's struggles were evident and Thomas's performance was not up to his usual standard. Ricky Fowler's role, or lack thereof, was another point of contention. A seasoned Ryder Cup veteran and a fan favorite, Fowler's limited participation raised eyebrows. Initial rumors hinted at health concerns, but it soon became clear that his sidelining was a strategic move by Johnson. This decision left many puzzled, questioning the wisdom of not utilizing such an experienced player in crucial matches. Overall, the captain's picks, which are often seen as a blend of strategy and intuition, didn't deliver as expected. The six selections by Johnson collectively secured only a handful of points, with none of them having a winning record. In the high-stakes environment of the Ryder Cup, where every point is crucial, this underperformance was a significant setback for Team USA. Several pivotal lessons emerged as Team USA and the golfing world reflected on the tournament. For one, Preparation is the bedrock of success in any sport, and golf is no exception. Continuous competitive play leading up to significant events like the Ryder Cup ensures players are in their best form, both mentally and physically. For Team USA, the absence of this consistent play was evident, with some players appearing rusty and out of sync, emphasizing the need for regular competitive action. Beyond individual preparation, the dynamics within the team played a crucial role in determining success. A team's camaraderie, trust, and mutual respect can uplift players during challenging times and propel the team to greater heights. The 2023 Ryder Cup highlighted the importance of these dynamics with Team USA's cohesion, or lack thereof, coming under the spotlight. As Team USA looks ahead, the reflections and learnings from Marco Simone will undoubtedly influence their approach, strategies, and preparations for future Ryder Cups. Although a hard pill to swallow, this year's tournament should be a lesson on what to avoid. Perhaps the overconfidence of the previous Ryder Cup result played a role in their lack of preparation this year. But to say for sure, we will never know. With the next Ryder Cup on the horizon, Team USA will undoubtedly consider changes informed by the insights of 2023. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it, check out our other videos. And that's another round of Good Bogey Golf, golf for busy people where we've got your back, keeping you in the loop no matter how tight your schedule is. Don't forget to swing that like button, share this video with your fellow golf enthusiasts, and subscribe to our channel for your quick and easy golf updates. Remember, Time may be short, but the game is long. Stay ahead of the curve with Good Bogey Golf. Thanks for watching, keep your eye on the ball, and we'll see you next time.